All right, so this is You People. This is the Netflix movie that came out a couple weeks ago, a month ago, something like that. Um, it's directed by Kenya Barris. I, I didn't like it at all. We'll get back to that. So Ezra, played by Jonah Hill, he ends up meeting Amira, played by Lauren London. And he's white and also Jewish, and she's black. So that's going to cause some tension with their families and the cultures and things like that. Um, but they hit it off, though. And, you know, it's contrived the way they meet. You know, he, he gets in her car thinking this is Uber. Tur uh, she thinks it's racist. Turns out the Uber driver actually did look like her. So it actually was a legitimate misunderstanding. And from there, they end up going on dates and things like that. Six months go by, and now he wants to propose to her. So he takes her to meet his parents. Uh, both of them are awkward and not great. Uh, the main issue is with the mother, Shelly, played by Julia Louise Drivers. And that's really awkward and that causes tension. Um, and then he goes to meet her parents, uh, Fatima, that's the mom, played by Nia Long, and the dad, Akbar, played by Eddie Murphy, which most of the tension is with, with uh, Eddie Murphy's character. Nia Long's not really doing much in this. So as a result of their cultures clashing and, and things like that, religions clashing, uh, it ends up putting a strain on the relationship. So as far as positives go, because I really did not like this, and we'll get to that in a second, uh, I think the performances were pretty good, uh, especially Jonah Hill and Eddie Murphy. All the material pretty much is bad, other than maybe a few chuckles here and there, and maybe a couple clever moments with the, the racial things, but you know, most of it's not that good, but I feel like they do the best job to rise above it. Hey, uh, what's up with white cubs? <laughs> well, I don't know, man. You know, honestly, I don't really know this nigga. Am I white cuz? Well, I'm not. Hey, yo, white cuz. I'm white cuz, for sure. What's up, man? Why don't you do me a favor and uh, slide up out of that dead hoodie for me? Hmm? Your hoodie, nigga. Wrong color. Why don't you take that shit off? That's pretty much all the positives I had. So the movie looks pretty generic and kind of just kind of thrown together based on how it was shot. Uh, from a technical aspect, it's just kind of there and it feels kind of just thrown together. But mainly the editing, I think, and the writing, the movie doesn't really have much narrative flow to it, where it just kind of feels like scene, 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 scene. There's certain scenes that feel like they shouldn't even really be in the movie. They don't really add much to it. He's really nervous about quitting his job so he can do his podcast. Didn't really need it. Um, there's a part where, because uh, there seems to be a lot of ad lib in this bitch. There's a part where... Um, one of the people at some Jewish thing that they went to uh, comes up to him, something for their religion at the very beginning, comes up to Ezra and is like, hey, how's your penis doing? You want to go in the bathroom? I could take a look at it, just randomly. And it turns out to be his dentist. And he's like, my dentist just tried to see my dick. And the mom is like, oh, he's in some trouble. You know, you know he hasn't been charged yet. Don't worry about it. And it just, just, they just go on and on and on about it. There's so many points to this where, the, where it feels like the scenes are just going on for so long. Scenes that don't even need to be there or scenes that, yeah, sure, they make sense being there. But they go on for way, way, way too long. There's a point where uh, him and the person that he has the podcast with are talking about, oh, I'm, I feel like take care of Drake. And the, the other person like, oh, well, you, you should try to be like certified lover boy Drake. It's just so, it feels forced. So it's weird that the movie is, is it still feels too long and all that, but it has points where it feels like scenes are missing. Development is missing. Development of the characters, things like that. I mean, they all boil down to their race at, at a certain point anyway, but the characters do feel underdeveloped and the romance feels underdeveloped right they meet each other and then the next scene she's texting him saying he's taking her to lunch it's like i would have loved to see their interaction at that point and then you know because they seem like they should be apprehensive to actually go anywhere with their relationship based on their parents and where that could go if your parents are this crazy and this out of touch i mean they the way they interact with you know the 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 um their child's fiance they it's like they've never been around people of that particular race ever, right? I mean, no social skills when it comes to that. I mean, they treat each other like dogs. They, they, they are constantly on each other. So you think that there would be some scenes of them kind of getting to know each other and finally deciding based on the way they feel about each other as some kind of mutual interest to be together, but you don't get that. Most of the romance that you get is montage or off screen. And it's like, wait, you couldn't have replaced some of these scenes with that? You know, the scene where he's at work and his boss is just going on and on about what they should say when they greet each other, which was not funny at all. The movie is not funny enough to 
really mean anything like just purely entertainment and it's not smart enough to actually do what it seems like it's trying to do when it comes to actually having a point when it comes to race relations and things like that so it ends up just being kind of pointless right they have really awkward moments that are not awkward in like a funny way or an entertaining way or poignant way it's just awkward right where you know the mother and, and Ezra go out of the room they, they come back the, the dad's playing Ordinary People by John Legend on the piano and it was just it was painfully painfully awkward you know it, it, and that's pretty much the movie it's awkward right jo- jonah hill's sitting there and he loses all social skills right You're talking about him going to langston hughes park and all this other shit just making up shit and, and for what like you're just causing more tension with them and you know the, the, it gets to the point where other people in the family start treating them badly too and so where, to where it's like well you didn't really develop these characters so right now i'm just rooting for them to just break up and the movie is hypocritical as shit anyway, because it tries to be like, oh, well, you know, Amir tells Ezra's mother, oh, you, you treat me as just my race and that's it. And you don't treat me like a person. And then you see these characters and it's like, well, they're all boiled down to their race and they're all types. Girl, we just want to say congrats. You marrying this white man. Girl, all these white people in here. <laughs> if you like it, we love it, right? <laughs> I stormed the Capitol. I did. I was there. Ezra tried to stop me. He's a liberal cock, but he's a good man. It was just, it was just endless awkwardness and just, it just not written in a way that could actually mean anything. It was just, I was just sitting there just, just kind of upset that it wasn't ending because it, it feels so much longer than it is. <laughs> it's just, it, it was crazy. Like they're at the dinner table, right? It's just a dinner table, right? You're there with, um, your child's fiance and their their kid, and they get into arguments about like, are you comparing the uh, the Holocaust to slavery and and things like that? Really heavy handed. You know, you have the family of your your daughter's fiance, and they're very obviously Jewish, and then you have him bringing up the fact that he's cool and knows Farrakhan and stuff like that. And it's like, if you have something to say and you're actually going to take it somewhere, that could be interesting. But they completely drop that after that dinner scene, <laughs> completely. Right? There's this whole thing where the dad. Uh, Eddie Murphy's character changed his name to Akbar. Like his name's actually Woody or something like that. And it's like, well, you could have something to say about that even, that he's actually kind of a fraud. That would actually make things better that you were so, that you had such a lack of subtlety with those characters. But you didn't do anything with it, right? I mean, it feels like these characters haven't spoken to the people of these particular races ever. But then the the, the family that's the, that's, you know, the most aggressive, which is uh, Amira's parents, apparently they have white people in their family. Nia Long's character, I guess, has like a white grandpa that they have a good relationship with. It's like, then what's with all this hate? What, what's, all, what's white boy, white boy, white boy, white boy? That's all he is. And it's like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it did, just doesn't. Like, he's a schmuck, yeah, but they weren't even ready to give him any kind of chance. And you mean to tell me they have white people in their family? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's just obnoxious, man. I just didn't care for this at all. Man. I didn't like this at all. None of it was really funny. I didn't think you really had much to say. There's certain points that were kind of clever. Like there's a point where um, the uh, Ezra's mother uh, tries to call out racism against, oh, this is my black, you know, uh, uh, um, about to be a daughter-in-law and you, this is racism, da, da, da. And it turns out it wasn't even racism at all. Like there's something clever there about, you know, certain white people feeling like they need to stand up even when they don't need to and things like that, you know, kind of virtue signaling. There's something to say about that. But for the most part, I just found it just obnoxious, right? Like awkward situations, bad dialogue, bad lines where they're forcing in, <laughs> forcing in these certain phrases to you know all oh, these millennials say this right and things like that it just felt so fucking forced there's characters that are so underdeveloped i forgot they were even in it i don't know their names certain side characters the friends the character that she's with that i thought was just her friend turns out to be her brother he's barely in the, the movie uh, amir's brother barely in the movie the the daughter um well the the sister of uh, ezra uh, the mother's like yeah she's she's queer she's lgbt and that's our our our, our vibe we're cool with that and then that character is nothing the character's nothing. You might as well have taken the character out of the movie. They didn't do anything with her. I think she has, what, maybe one or two lines after that? Anyway, yeah, it's just lazy. It's thrown together. Just like a lot of the Netflix movies coming out. It's just, hey, we got these people in it, so come watch it. We didn't put any time and effort into it. It doesn't really matter, but it's here. Yeah, this is the worst and most obnoxious movie I've seen of the year so far. I'm going to give it utter trash and just kind of move on. So, yeah, that's it. That's you people. Subscribe. And we're done.